So today is very much a, it's a kind of merging of my world with, I'm going to say the BNI world, because what I want to talk to you today about is DISC. Has anyone heard of DISC? Hands up. Brilliant. Does everyone know their profile? Ah, right. Has everyone read Room Full of Referrals? One of the, one of the eminent people in, in DISC profile at the moment is a guy called Tony Alexandra. Um, he actually does the assessments. He works for a company called 24 seven. That's his company. They do the disc profiling free of charge. I might add full action coach. Um, you can get a full report, but also they do it for Tony Robbins. What room full of referrals was Tony Alexandra writing a book with Ivan Meisner. And it was lightening the disc profiles to referral types. And I'm going to explain disc first of all, for those who don't. So DISC is a behavioural type, so how we act naturally and how we act within our business lives. So DISC stands for, and you can divide them broadly into people who tend to be more people orientated and people who are more task orientated, so just like to get things done. So D um, is someone who's very direct um, some degree dominant, but would be, right, I've got these things to do. I'm going to get them done quickly. And I, um, and we're probably an easy one to recognize, is that person who's dead, dead bubbly, can never stop talking about themselves, about other people, wants to tell you everything that's going on in the weekend. Then you've got your C, who's your compliance, who tends to be your more detailed person, the person who really, really thinks through things and really sort of considers what's going on. It's what we call the compliance. And then we have someone who's called the steady or the uh, tends to be the person who uh, likes to look after people, wants to make sure that everybody's involved in things and is being listened to. So DISC, those are the, those are the four characteristics. Now, one of the first things people always say to you, is there a bad one or a good one? No. And in reality, we're all a blend of all of them. And dependent on what, what's happening in our life will probably dictate to some degree where we come in that disc profile. How does that behavior type then refer to how we network and how we, be, how we refer people? The fundamental reason we need to understand this is because we need to be treating people and considering people when we're looking for referrals, how they like to be treated. Using the BNI criteria, a promoter is that person who you will see in a network room or you will see around the place. He's giving people hugs, high fives, really, really talking, center of attention. That's someone who's really, really promoting what's going on. A D is that one who's very driven. Normally they'll come to a network event and they've got a list, a specific list of what they want to do. I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm going there. That's a D. The compliance, which is the person who's a little bit more detailed, is tends to be called the examiner. So they like to sit on the periphery of the, the, the build, the base of the room and just sort of see, check out what's going on. That's what we call the examiner. The nurturer, who's the one who likes everyone to get on, um, is very, very important. They like to take a little bit longer to get to know people. And that's an important factor in, in building that relationship with them. Well, the first thing I could do for you is I'll send you all the link so you can do your free assessment and disc profile. Now, Michael and others might know something called IMA, which is very, very similar, um, and simplifies it in many cases. Hi, Blue. Um, do you know what I am? Uh, yellow. Oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment, but I'm not. I'm a high red. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, if we can very quickly do that, so I'll send you the IMA, the IMA link and the disc link. I know some network groups, don't they, Michael? Actually, wear them on the name badge. So when you approach people, you know, oh, he's a high red or he's a D. Okay. And then you can adapt your style accordingly. That's why it's important to know what each individual person is. Because there's no point a D, who's very, very direct, going to someone who's a nurturer and saying, I need to know this information. They're never going to build a relationship because of that. Therefore, there'll be no referrals following. So the... The key is to understand the traits of people in order to marry, marry up their referral types.